It is Friday, March 27th. And I have decided since I am at home every single day and not going on trips like I originally had planned, which I would have vlogged for, I'm going to do a kind of a day in my life while at home in social isolation, sorry, self isolation and social distancing to show you guys what I get up to in a day while I am at home. I have essentially been working from home for the past two years, so I feel like I've kind of mastered having a relatively decent self routine over the last year or so and hopefully I can give you guys some tips and tricks on how to stay motivated when you guys are at home by the time you are watching this video I will have also compiled together a blog post which I will link in the description box below for you guys to check out of 10 different tips that I also implement into my everyday lifestyle whenever I am working from home which is every single day in order to keep myself motivated and productive so make sure you guys give that a quick read as well if you'd also like some additional advice but I have, what time is it right now? It is 11.10 in the morning. I got up at around 9.30ish this morning and I jumped on to FaceTime with Mel to do a joint workout session with her. We FaceTimed each other while we did like an arms workout just to kind of feel like we were still in a class together. That's one thing I feel like I've been missing is access to a gym. Ever since all the gyms closed, I've been figuring out ways to work out at home. Thankfully, over the years, I've kind of like accumulated some gym equipment to work out from home. like very very basic things like yoga mats some light weights cables resistance bands that sort of thing so it's kind of really helped out to have a space at home to really be able to work out as well but it's still tough because when you're at a gym it's a very different environment you can like socialize with other people you feel like you're surrounded by other people who are also motivated to be working out as well so it kind of gets you going and i really miss that atmosphere so mel and i decided to facetime each other and i think we're going to try our best to do it every two days to facetime each other and keep each other accountable to working out and then in the meantime um on the days in between I'm gonna be working out with Peter and doing some yoga and other things by ourselves at home in hopes of staying fit while we're staying at home because I don't know about you guys but whenever I'm at home for extended periods of time I get hungry and when I'm hungry all I do is just like snack on food 24 7 especially because like I get a little bit more bored so we're gonna try to avoid that and combat that by just working out a little bit more and making sure we stay nice and healthy during this time at home but I hope you guys are doing great you're keeping your positive spirits up staying nice and happy I know it's a very very tough time to be able to do that because a lot of us are put out of work I unfortunately am also put out of work now. I have barely any campaigns going and I had a bunch of campaigns that were scheduled to go live this past month and a lot of them were postponed or cancelled or just like put on an indefinite pause and I have no idea when they're gonna come back into fruition. So we'll see what happens there. But in the meantime, I figured I would vlog for you guys and share with you what I do in a day at home. It's different every single day, to be very honest. When you work from home as a content creator, your day shifts from day to day. So today I've already put together kind of a calendar. I've recently started TikTok. So I've made it my goal to film two TikTok videos every single day after my workout. I'm actually gonna go put on my face because I have another video that I wanna film today as well. There's a lot of video production going on today and then some emails that I need to answer to. And then I can kind of chill and relax because then later in the evening I will edit my videos, um, finish writing some blog posts, answer some more emails, and that's essentially it. But I will make sure to take you guys along with me so that you can see what I do in a day of social distancing at home. Except social distancing with my husband because he's over there behind me. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm making breakfast right now because we're both really, really hungry. We made some spicy fried rice last night and for breakfast we decided to have the fried rice again and to top it off with an egg on top of each bowl just to make it a little bit more breakfasty. I also just personally love having eggs in the morning for breakfast and like runny-ish eggs on spicy fried rice is the bomb. So we're making that right now. Got my eggs in the pan here. So the lighting is so yellow. It's because of these stupid overhead lights in the stove top. The eggs are frying up. I like to fry them on quite low heat so that they can stay relatively runny. And then we have a bowl of rice waiting to be topped over here. Breakfast is served. How is it? You already took a bite ahead of me. It's 
wonderful. Do you like it with the eggs or do you prefer without? I like it with scrambled eggs, actually. Okay, so well, exactly the same thing. well, Mr. Picky here, you're gonna have the deal. I made you like a soft boiled, sunny side up, over easy type of situation. Well, I kept mine a little bit runnier. Look at that jiggly yolk. Okay, you guys need to vote down below and let me know what you think because I like to eat my eggs whole, well, the yolk whole, and have it runny in my mouth because I feel like it tastes delicious, especially when it like pours over things. He likes to, however, have it harder, and if it's runny, cut it and let it pour all over his stuff to begin with. Oh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think below. Yolk everywhere. Who's crazier, him or me? Yolk porn. Look at it jiggle. Look at it jiggle. So I'm gonna go eat this now and chill in front of the TV for a little bit, and then I'm gonna go get ready, put my face on, do my hair, and then film some TikToks and YouTube videos, and then we're gonna go edit stuff. So it's been a few hours since we last chatted. Since then, I did my hair and makeup, as you can see. Look a little bit better. I haven't filmed anything yet. I actually um, did a little bit of computer work because Peter and I had some contracts that we needed to touch base on to review to make sure they were still good since it's kind of like a touchy time right now and we just want to make sure that everything is still standing so that we know how to move forward. And now I'm going to be filming my YouTube videos and some TikToks. I also joined on a Zoom call earlier with four just to kind of get their opinion on the current status of things and how they think things are going to move forward and any advice or kind of just like how they're planning to operate in their end with some other creators. So that was really helpful and super insightful. But now I'm going to go back to doing some work since I want to be relatively productive. It's been a kind of productive thus far today so far, don't you think? We've got a lot done. We made breakfast. I worked out sent off a bunch of emails, now going to be filming a bunch of things, and then tonight I'm gonna to spend the rest of the evening editing this stuff so that you guys have content to consume on YouTube. I am like kind of conflicted now because thus far my messaging and my thought process going into all this was that it would be insensitive to completely like not address um, COVID-19 and coronavirus what's overall and I have while at the same time I have so much content already produced especially for Instagram that I was actually meaning to have all this stuff go live right now anyways and it's like a month and a half's worth of photos and posts it feels like it's a shame to not be able to post them while at the same time like i live in such a small space at home that it's hard for me to capture everyday content here without it literally be me sitting in the same corner on the couch so i want to know what you guys think if i should continue moving forward with posting the content that i have been posting just as a form of escapism so you guys have somewhere to go that's a little bit more lighthearted. if you need a break from all the overwhelming news that you've been consuming every single day because i definitely do feel like it's very overwhelming sometimes like my twitter feed blows up every single morning and every night especially when Trudeau updates us with like any changes that he makes to policies so I know for myself I've been appreciating having bloggers and youtubers and just like tiktokers create content that's not necessarily covid related so I can see other sorts of things besides just that because sometimes it's, it's a little bit much but at the same time just still being very cognizant of a certain situation um the climate of it and making sure that I'm being respectful to others who are not necessarily as privileged as i am to be able to continue working while they're at home so let me know what you guys think if you'd like to see more like at home related content or you're okay with me still posting all of my other travel and kind of like beauty and fashion content because i still feel like that's kind of relevant the world hasn't completely shut down a lot of us are working from home and then there are definitely like posts that i want to create such as like how to dress when you're working from home to keep yourself motivated and productive because I definitely have tips on that and also just kind of like my relaxation techniques that I use right now to kind of calm myself because we're all feeling the stress together. Peter and I are definitely stressed from having to literally reschedule and plan our wedding all over again. So I've been like, I, w I wouldn't, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't drinking a little bit more wine than usual. Considering taking a bath sometime next week just to kind of like relax myself. I just took a shower and washed my hair last night so it won't be crawling back into that bath anytime soon. But if I do I need to wash it down thoroughly too, which is why it's kind of like I haven't taken one yet because it's a lot of work doing that. Let me know what you guys think. I am going to film my YouTube video now and then I will check in with you guys when I'm done. And I think I'm going to do one YouTube video and then take a break and film a TikTok and then film my second YouTube video and then take a break and film my TikTok. That way, like, I can do different things. I find that if I do everything stacked back to back to back, it tires me out. It makes me really mentally exhausted. So that's the plan for today. I just filmed filming two TikToks and two YouTube videos and I'm tired. It's exhausting creating content. Peter's also tired. You're chilling in bed while I'm hard at work. What you doing there? I'm trying to nap. Why are you napping? It's in the middle of the day. I had a long day. Of what? of production okay he's been napping for the past two hours 
so I think I'm going to take out my contacts. I was actually going to film the outfits for the YouTube video that I just finished filming. I usually film them in two segments. I do all the talking, so the intro and the outro, and then I film the outfits separately and kind of like stitch them together. But it is like 6 o'clock p.m. right now, and I'm really not in the mood to go and film all the outfits. And plus the lighting's not the best right now, so I think I might save the outfits for tomorrow. And right now I'm going to pop out my contacts. I might actually take a nap as well because I'm feeling really tired. I woke up extra early this morning to work out with Mal. That took all the energy out of me. And yesterday's ab workout that we did is really hurting my abs right now. Like I can feel it when I'm walking and leaning. So I'm going to take a little break, relax, and then get a gap later to make dinner. Or are you making dinner tonight? I make dinner every night. No, I helped you make dinner last night. No, you didn't. I actually did. What did you do? The rice. That doesn't count. You ruined it. I, I made something. Fix it ruined it tasted good no i had to fix it i think it was fine i had to fix it whatever we're gonna make dinner afterwards and then i think i'm gonna go and edit some stuff and then we'll see where the rest of the night progresses to hey guys just woke up from a three hour nap now this is what happens when you wake up early to work out in the morning and you spend all day filming literally all day i think i was filming for like Six hours straight, would you say, kind of? Sure. Yeah, six hours straight. I woke up and Peter is kindly making dinner for us already. I'm gonna show you what he made. So this is what he's up to right now. We get cook it deliveries like once every week and they give us like three meals each time. This is, wait, can you tell us what we're eating today? The miso ramen with chicken what? strips. Why are you putting gochujang in it? to add spice. Wait, is it not spicy enough? No. This is the goodness, secret ingredient for everything that makes it all delicious. It's sweet and spicy, so I'm a huge fan of it. We both love spicy food, which makes it even better because we have the exact same taste, flavor, profile. Yes? No? Yeah. yeah. Similar. <laughs> wow, this looks so good. I can't wait to eat this. I'm so hungry right now. Dinner is served. Wait, which one's mine? This one? One without cilantro. Oh yeah, bro. I don't like cilantro, guys. So Peter always saves it for himself. Did you put all of it in yours? Most of it. I love cilantro. Okay, well that's good for you then. I think it tastes yeah. like soap. I'm that population that doesn't like it. So You're gross. this is my bowl. Thanks, boo. We are going to eat our dinner now, watch some stuff on Netflix, <laughs> and then I'll probably do some work afterwards because I want to edit my videos before I go to sleep and then call it a night. And then I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. No, I don't think I'm going to check in with you guys tomorrow. I was just going to do a day in my life. So that's it. I'll see you guys in a little bit once we're done eating our food. Well, look at that light. Wow. Funky. That's trippy. After we finished eating dinner, we just finished watching The Farewell and we literally spent two hours watching like oldies music oh, videos yeah. like Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, NSYNC, Boys to Men. Oh, yeah. So literally got no work done, but we're, we're now in bed. We're getting ready to sleep. Um, I feel like I didn't do much today. Well, I didn't get to show you guys that much besides eating and filming things. But there's only so much you can do when you're stuck at home all day, mm -hmm. quarantining, and they're more or less kind of enforcing like a pseudo lockdown right now, and they're asking everybody to stay inside. They've closed all the parks, dog park, national parks, parking lots, and that sort of thing, just to enforce people to not go outside anymore. So I kind of feel like they just want to be... Oh dear. Things are falling in the bathroom. Oh dear. I have to check on that. But Ghost. I hope you guys had a great night. We are going to go to bed now, go to sleep, and then wake up early tomorrow morning to actually get some work done. I'm going to edit all my videos tomorrow yes, morning. Please. I hope you guys had an amazing day. Be sure to come back for a next video next time. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day or a good night, wherever, what time you're watching this at. We'll see you guys later. Jeez, Bye! Bye.